This video explains how to replace NAN in a pandas data frame by an empty character string using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that our example data frame contains six rows and three columns called x1, x2 and x3. And you can also see that some of the values in our data frame are NAN. So let's assume that we want to replace these values by empty character strings. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code box. And in the first line of this box, I am creating a copy of our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. So after running this line of code, a new data frame called data new is created. And then in the next step, I'm using the fill and a function to replace the NAN values in our data frame by an empty character string. And I'm storing the output of this in the same data frame object data new. So after running these lines of code, our data frame is updated. And then we can also print our updated data frame using the print function. And then you can see below the code box that our data frame has been updated so that the NAN values have been replaced by empty character strings. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.